let's get started so we can go over the assignment and then get on to today's lecture. Okay, what I want you to do is I want you to use any available resources, anything you can find, and I want you to give me some information about the notch gene. What I'd like is information about the molecular function, genomics, transcripts, coding and protein sequences in fruit flies, as well as the names of two other organisms, one mammal, one insect, that have orthologs of this gene in their genome. Any questions? Yeah, hello. Hey, Stefano. How's your first day alone in the lab? Uh, all right, I guess. Wonderful. Well, we're going to be doing some experiments with Cresolin soon, so make sure not to touch the socks in the tube with blue tape. Hello, this is the fly guy. What's your problem? Well, I mean, I wasn't even sure this number would work, but I've got this silly homework assignment and I was hoping you could help me. Let's have it. Okay, I'm supposed to find out a bunch of stuff about this gene. Um, I don't even remember the name. But the gene symbol is N, and I have no idea where to even look. Are you at the computer? Yeah. Good. Go to flybase.org. That's flybase.org. We'll get this knocked out in no time. Okay, I'm there. Now there's a lot of information on this homepage, but we're not concerned about all of it. All we want to do is answer your question. So the only tool we're going to be using is probably the most useful for students. This is the quick search. It's all ready to go. What did you say the G symbol was? N. N? Okay. Well, when you search, you can select different search options by clicking these drop-down menus here. What is automatically set on genes, and that's where we wanted to keep it, okay? Hit search, and we're off. This takes us to a page with some preliminary results, and alright, there's what we want right there, notch. Clicking on it will take us straight to the page that has all the information that you're looking for. Was that your first question? Let's see, I need the genomic sequence, the transcript sequence, and the CDS. Whatever that is. Okay, alright. Well, these are actually really easy to find. Just select what you're looking for from the drop-down menu over here and hit Get FASTA. The gene region is the same thing as the genomic sequence. And I'll show you the CDS, that's the coding sequence, which means it only includes the DNA which encodes for the protein, starting here at the start codon and finishing at the stop codon. What else did you need? Well, I need the molecular function, and then I have to locate two organisms that have notch orthologs. Okay, that's where all these expandable tabs come in. They have a lot of information from phenotype, to homologs, to alleles, to expression data, to gene structure, literature reference. Look, look, I'm not a geneticist or anything. I'm just trying to get my homework done. <laughs> okay, all right. You'll find the uh, molecular function here in the summary information tab. As you can see, notch is used for protein binding, specific transcriptional repressor activity, and transcription activator activity. To find the orthologs, you'll need to go to another tab called orthologs, of course. 
I actually have to find one mammal and one insect with orthologs. Okay. You see the Drosophila orthologs right away. Just scroll down to find orthologs in other organisms. So, are you done with your homework now? Yes. I cannot believe it was that easy. See, I told you. Everything you need is right there. Wow, thank you so much for your help. Hey, no problem. Just remember, Flybase is made for professionals, but you can use it too. Hello, this is the Fly Guy. What's your problem? Yeah, I was in some serious need of some help here. I accidentally um, misplaced one of my stocks. And I was wondering if you have an idea where can I find a replacement? Well, have you checked out Flybase? Fly what? Flybase. It's a huge database which contains an enormous amount of information oriented towards the study of Drosophila melanogaster. Oh my! I don't think I've ever heard of it before. You said uh, flybase.org? Yep, that's right. Hop online and I'll be more than happy to show you how to get your stock. Thanks a lot. What's the stock that you're looking for? Well, I'm not really sure, but I believe it's carrying the gene PSN. Alright, so let's go ahead and get started with the quick search. I'll just type in PSN and we'll see what we get. This page is loaded with more information than just the gene name, which by the way is Prisnellin. We're interested in the tab that says Stocks and Reagents, where we will look under stocks listed in Flybase. There it is. It's the third one down. So how do I order it? Just click on the stock and it takes you to the information page, where you can either click on the stock number again, or go straight to the ordering form. You may have noticed that this stock is provided by the Bloomington Stocks and so if you're ever looking for more flies, you can always go straight to their homepage. Wow, this is perfect. Hey, would I be able to use Flybase to find detailed information on Prison Ellen? Absolutely, that's what it's designed for. Let's navigate back to the search results and I'll show you some more. When you get some time, go through all these different tabs. You'll be surprised at how much information you can find. You can click on the colored text to learn more. Just remember that some genes will have more information than others. Up here at the top you'll see two links for gbrowse. When we click the top one, it displays the genomic region for Prisnellin, along with lots of useful stuff like transcripts, coding sequences, and don't forget about those orthologs. Once again, just click anything you see to find more detailed information. Um, is there a way to access all this information from the homepage? You bet. Let's go there now. The Flybase homepage has three main sections. The navigation bar, the shortcuts, and the quick search. The navigation bar is always with you wherever you go. For someone like you, the three menus that will be the biggest help are tools, resources, and of course, help. The tools menu categorizes and gives you access to all of the tools available through Flybase. Some of them you've already seen like the Quick Search and Gbrowse. We don't have time to go through all of them right now, but that's what the tool overview is for. The Resources tab is very impressive. It provides links to literally hundreds of other Drosophila related websites. If you can't find it here, it don't exist. As you would expect, there is a link here for stock collections. You already know about Bloomington, but you may need to use others depending on what you're looking for. For instance, Vienna Drosophila RNA Eye Center specializes in RNA interference stocks. What were those other links at the bottom of the resource menu? Those take you to other Drosophila related project sites like the Berkeley Drosophila Genome Project, the Drosophila Genomics Research Center, and more. Are the other menus mainly just useless information? Definitely not. 
but for our entry level purposes, we don't have time to look at them all. The last menu I'll show you is the help menu. Go here when you run into problems or just to learn about the latest improvements. There's even a link you might find useful called New the Flies. Great, this is perfect. So what's the difference between Jump to Gene and Quick Search? Jump to Gene is a simplified version of Quick Search that goes with you wherever the navigation bar goes. You'll also notice these six shortcuts. All of these tools can be found in the tool menu, but Flybase put them here to save your time. What's the difference between Flybase, Blast, and the normal Blast? Yeah, that's a good question. The Blast here on Flybase is specific for flies and other insect taxa. Blast and Gbrowse are the two tools you will use the most, but take time to learn about the other four if you do a lot of fly work in the future. I can't believe all the information is right at my fingertips. I can't wait to find out more. Just remember, Flybase is made for professionals, but you can use it too.